everyone how are you guys doing today and today we are doing a really interesting topic which is what do timeline shifts got to do with union and what exactly timeline shifts are and what are quantum leaps and why do they occur quite frequently in a way not so frequent but before that i'm going to just give it a couple of uh, minutes before you guys join me how have you all been how has you know we are ending october now i hope you guys are all excited for november and also this is the halloween weekend so hope you all are having fun <laughs> trick or treating i know today's topic is really really interesting so I'm just going to, I'm and so sorry about the delay. I had to like refresh and reboot my computer and that took a while because there was some software update. <laughs> All right. Probably show me that you guys are here so that I know you guys are here. And from there we could start. I know a lot of y'all watch these videos after at your own time, which is great as well. So perhaps I'll just start. <laughs> All right. Why do timeline shifts occur quite frequently? Hi, Bardi. So lovely to see you again. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Oh. So I'm just waiting for a few more people <laughs> to come in before I join in. So how has your Halloween weekend been going, guys? So have you all been, <laughs> you know, going trick, <laughs> trick or treat, trick or treating? <laughs> Halloween is always such a fun time. Oh, MJ, so lovely to see you. Ah, oh, hi, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm so glad you're able to join this live today. You know, it's so amazing to see all of you all here. All right, I'll just start. I know um, you guys would keep joining me in. So why do timeline shifts occur quite frequently? Not really frequently, but they do happen a couple of times in a year, at least twice, you know. Um, and we are going to experience one in the coming days and it's going to be so there are a few ways you can see it timeline jumps are pretty good so if you have been doing doing work on yourself you've been do, doing really good oh hi good evening karen yes all is good hope all is well on your end too so today we are talking about timeline jumps and um what it has got to do with union so that's such an exciting topic isn't it so yes timeline shifts and actually timeline shifts are good because if you are really working on yourself and doing everything right it's going to help you level up it's going to help you with um, things it's going to actually move you up to a higher timeline and experience the bliss that you're seeking but of course, if you are you know, moving away or if you're not um, energetically vibing, then you're going to jump backwards. So it's a kind of a test in a way, if you see it from a very um, objective perspective. You know, Timeline jumps are very interesting, but at the same time, they can be quite tricky as well. Because not all timeline jumps are going to bring you to a higher timeline or a better timeline. Sometimes it can bring you back. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm so glad. Uh, Tammy recently told you that you're coming to a timeline shift. So you must be quite ready and prepared uh, for it. <laughs> so as I was saying, timeline shifts happen quite randomly as well. So, you know, as readers, we often pick up, pick it up uh, based on the energies. And often timeline jumps, timeline shifts, often tend to uh, be very tiring as well. So you would actually feel like you've traveled somewhere. And you would also notice a lot of an anomalies in your environment. You know, you will start seeing, you will just know it's different to the timeline that you come from. And you will also see um, 
changes in your divine masculine you know that's that's going to be a big thing you're probably like hey i didn't even see that coming and then all of a sudden you know you see a huge behavior change things like that and these timeline jumps are quite necessary for union as well you know because it's part of the ongoing cycles and it's part of the uh and it's part of the process of union as well. And sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you may feel like you're jumping backwards. And that is also kind of like an indicator to show that, you know, you are like slacking in your journey or you're not doing things to raise your vibration. Yes, Masha, I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> Oh, Tammy, thank you for the hearts. So yes, timeline jumps. Timeline jumps in itself sounds so like um, science fiction and high tech and highly advanced. But the thing is, it, it happens so quickly. Some For some, they don't even notice it. For some... Um, it doesn't affect them as much as it affects others as well. So there's so many different categories within timeline jumping as well. But the most important thing is being prepared and knowing that you are experiencing a timeline jump. So if you are not, hi Pam, uh, good, good to see you. Yeah, so example, you, you know that, you know, you're going to experience a timeline jump. It's a good time to actually look at mm, what you have been doing, how far you have been coming in this journey, what you have been up to, things that you have been doing, everything. So when you look at all of these things, you will know that, okay, I'm actually going to jump into a better timeline because I've been faithful, I have been loyally praying to God, I've been seeking the guidance of the divine, I've been seeking guidance from my guides and angels and you know, you just know that you're on the right track and you know that this timeline jump, so a timeline jump is like this energetic portal, you know, and it's quite inevitable, you're kind of like swept through the storm, but you have to notice that it is an energetic portal, so it's going to match you based on your current vibration. So if you're vibrating really low, then you're going to pick the wrong timeline jump portal. And that's why some twins, especially in the last um, timeline jump that happened a couple of months ago, some started feeling like, hey, I was so close to union with my twin and suddenly I am not. And that was quite uh, shocking and scary for some twins, but you know, there's always a way to like jump back to your present timeline or even a better timeline. So individual portals are really rare. So it often happens collectively. But once in a while, if you really, really, really want to jump back, you know, so it's about re-energizing yourself. And hi, Tamara, good to see you. <laughs> and Tamara says hi to everyone else too. So they're talking about timeline jumps. So I was just saying how timeline jumps happen collectively, but once in a while, if you have jumped backwards or if you have jumped into a lower timeline, then, you know, you would be able to jump back in um, with the help of a healer. Like I've helped people jump back. So you, you can as well, but it's very rare and it's quite challenging as well. So sometimes you may need to wait for the next collective timeline jump portal. Sometimes you can work yourself way back to the timeline that you jumped from that was actually good or to an even better timeline. So the big question and also indicating today's topic, what does that have got to do with union? So timeline jumps often give you an opportunity to be in union with your twin or building or build you up towards union with your twin. So if you are actually progressing 
even if you're jumping backwards, you know there is movement in your journey instead, instead of um, stagnancy. But the scary part about timeline jumps is you may sometimes notice yourself in environments you don't recognize at all and your circumstances have changed. Sometimes it's extremely fruitful and you'll be like, hey, how is it that suddenly I'm like a luck magnet, you know, I'm an abundance magnet, like everything I do, it's like changing, you know, changing to gold and everything is going so well. <laughs> or you would be like, what is happening? You know, why am I experiencing such a down low on, on luck all of a sudden? So guys, keep asking me questions about... Um, timeline jumps as well i'm sure you guys got a lot and i'll try to um, answer them while i'm giving you guys a general discourse about timeline jumps timeline jumps are extremely extremely tiring so you will literally feel a difference that you have jumped and some of you maybe so sometimes you can't see see it um see it as a bad thing to sometimes if you you know jump backwards and you're actually on the down low it's actually a good time to spend some time in solitude to actually increase your vibration so not all so wh whether you're jumping forward or you're jumping backward you have to see that everything happens for reason and everything happens for the good so you have to have that attitude. And once you have that attitude, you'll realize that everything flows. Yes, Mindy, outgoing friends, um, seeing a difference in, in the version you are and, and you becoming a better version of yourself do, does show our indicators that you have experienced the timeline jump as well. You know, and they would be like, immense you'll be like hey, i was so close to this friend why am i like I, I don't feel the friendship anymore so these are some of the things some of the changes that you will see another thing is if you are jumping forward you will actually feel very comfortable even though you're tired from the whole traveling itself you know the, the timeline jump but you will know that hey i'm hated for better times Probably I'll be able to like touch more on it in the coming weeks once the timeline jump in itself has occurred. So how do you prepare yourself for a timeline jump? Stay hydrated, stay positive. Everything is in the energies, guys. Always remember your energies determine your future, determine your present, determines everything that happens in your life. And for Twin Flames, it's a big thing because energies don't lie you may be telling yourself hey i'm doing good i'm progressing i'm on the right track but you are not because you're not doing the work you've got to do you're not surrendering to the journey you're not trusting the process and another thing is if you are also always harboring on union 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 then you're also going to vibrationally go down because that in itself becomes obsession and obsession tends to bring your energy down cassie is that why i'm constantly thirsty and tired i took a three hour nap after sleeping seven hours yes yes um weeks before a timeline jump itself you'll start feeling tired and after as well you'll feel really tired so it is part of the of the jump so often when you're aware of it, you can prepare for it and you can also take the time to actually review what you have been up to, what you've been doing and how things have been affecting you. And another thing I want to do, oh, I forgot, I wanted to say something and then I forgot. Another thing that I was going to say is that during a timeline jump, it can be really stressful and sometimes you may feel like disoriented or you may just feel very strange to the new environment you are in. Hi, Colleen. So good to see you. Colleen says hi to everyone too. 
So we are talking about timeline jumps and um, one that we are going to experience in the coming days. So you would also be releasing a lot. You will be releasing a lot that no longer serves you. So for instance, example, you've been holding on to like a certain incident or event that has been like shaking your life. So during a timeline jump, it will be an opportunity to actually release because you're kind of like getting rid of that part of yourself that is no longer serving you. Hi, Jenny. Good to see you. And it is necessary for union, you know, because if you don't experience any timeline jump, you are going to feel like the whole process of the twin flame journey in itself is going to be extremely long. And you might find yourself like never reaching union. So this is actually important. Timeline jumps are very necessary in your twin flame journey. It is just that it's quite difficult to understand what timeline jumps are and how it happens, when it happens, and how to prepare for it. The best way to prepare for it is to actually trust the process, trust the journey, and always feel in alignment when you are jumping. You know, that is what's going to prevent you from jumping backwards. But sometimes it's inevitable as well. For instance, vibrationally, you have been feeling really down or you have been feeling like, you know, you're not progressing, then you might feel like you're jumping back a little. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, sometimes it's okay to jump a little behind and then catch up, you know, in the next jump. Or, you know, sometimes individual portals open, you know, usually, you know, I've done that before. And you can always, so don't panic if you have jumped into a lower timeline. Often panic is what takes over and you start feeling extreme stress and you're like, oh no, am I going to be stuck in this timeline? No. And also when you're in a higher timeline as well, don't be too excited because you need to be, you need to maintain those energies in the higher timeline or you're going to jump back into a lower timeline or your present timeline. And it's all in the energies. So you can't fake those energies or you can't like fake it because energies don't lie. Another eventful part is usually um, some twins experience like union, you know, like ultimate union with their twin after a timeline jump. And... And that's when they realize, wow, this is actually amazing and this is extremely cool. Like how it felt like there was no difference at all and suddenly the journey is picking up and it's on fire and you're feeling like, wow, I am actually uh, moving towards being in union with my divine masculine and the twin flame journey is worth it after all. And this is what's interesting because the journey is tough you know and it's a treacherous journey but however you have all these elements that help you in your union and that's why your faith in God is a big part of the journey because when all else fails where else do you lie your trust on another aspect to it is actually accepting that you have jumped a timeline. Some are in deep denial, some start to panic, some start to have a lot of fear, especially when they have jumped backwards. Because you feel like, I am trapped, there is no way for me to like, like come back. But like I said, you don't have to worry, there are always ways and means of coming back. Timeline jumps in itself is very interesting. In the past, a lot of twin flames did not even recognize and it was always happening, you know, it was happening quite um, frequently and, and sometimes some twins were able to remember because things would be different in the new environment, you know. It's like you're suddenly waking up and all your circumstances have changed. So timeline jumps can be extremely positive as well. And most of the time, it is positive. You're always jumping to a higher timeline because 
Once you recognize you're a twin flame, you're working on yourself. You're working to become the best version of yourself. So you're going to be rewarded for that. And that's why timeline shifts are extremely crucial as well. Because you are in the process of finding yourself, like unveiling who you are on, on, on the grandest level possible. So some examples of a timeline shift is you will suddenly feel more connected to your divine masculine. You will feel communication with your twin or the reverse might happen. You know, you may you may have been in communication with your twin and all of a sudden you feel like there is a stifling moment and suddenly there's no communication or you guys are falling backwards. So in either situation, the key is to recognize where you are in the timeline jump so as to repair it you know there's some healings i do as far as timeline jumps are concerned as well you can always check out my file for that another thing is it centers you because if you realize you are a multi-dimensional being you are unlimited you know you're always flowing in this continuous uh, growth and expansion and evolutionary um, you are just expanding, you know, and your growth and your evolution can't be stopped. And these are all parts and puzzles of being in this journey. So that's why don't, f don't be fearful of a timeline jump. It's especially when you know you're going to experience a timeline jump. This is like... This is the moment to put in all your energies and to actually feel, hey, you know, this is how I'm going to actually experience the next level in my relationship. You know, it's going to open up opportunities for me. It's going to open up. Um, it's going to open up opportunities for me to heal, grow and evolve. So I'm just going to stick through it and I'm going to actually experience it fully. And when you actually have that attitude, you will notice that you're actually jumping to a higher timeline. So guys, keep the questions coming. I'm going to take some more questions for the next 20 minutes before we wrap up. Okay, another thing is how do you avoid um, jumping backwards? And I did mention this earlier, it's all in the energies. So example, if you're fearful of it or if you're like scared or if you're thinking, oh, I'm not working enough, or I'm not getting any kind of communication from my twin, I'm actually going down the lower end of my journey, then you're probably going to attract that timeline where you are experiencing all of that but tenfold. Oh, Megan, I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> I hope you had a good game. <laughs> so, yeah, we are talking about timeline jumps and how they actually help you get into union and why timeline jumps are necessary and it's a crucial part of your twin flame journey. Then with the shift being extremely intense, and if you are going to vibrate in that state of fear, then that's what you're going to attract. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so timeline shifts can be mind-blowing, can be confusing for some, can be transforming for some as well. As a Pam, as a reader, I, we can energetically sense and gauge if, if um, our client have, has, if any one of you all have like shifted or jumped, you know, it's, it's all in the energy. So when you're able to read energies, you're able to tell. <laughs> yes, Megan. Another and the most important thing is you would experience it too, you know, like you would and, and some may not be part of the jumping, you know, if, ex, if especially if they are in the place they need to be, they might not experience anything at all. So sometimes you may not feel like, oh, I have to experience a timeline jump. Everything is divinely guided. So remember, 
all of it is so divinely orchestrated that you just have to go with the flow as far as the timeline jumping is concerned. And always remember, don't go into the state of fear or don't go into the state of like losing hope. If you are going to attract like negative vibrations prior to the, the entire event that is going to take place, then the chances are you're going to jump a timeline back. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> Megan. But you know, he always comes around. All right, I'm going to go for another 15 more minutes, guys. And if you have any questions, this is your time to ask me and then I'll wrap up the day. Oh, thank you, Adriel. So if you guys have any, like, questions uh, with the... Okay, so I'll describe the upcoming timeline shift, you know. So just like the last one that happened a couple of months back, you're going to feel extremely tired. You're going to feel a bit disoriented, you know, after the jump because it's a energetic quantum level kind of jump. And you would also feel more hopeful in your journey because you're going to experience miracles. You're going to experience like abundance. You're going to experience a lot that you felt like wasn't happening for you at the present timeline. So it's going to be good. And I actually foresee a lot of you all jumping a better timeline. So things are going to get better for all of you. And you may suddenly notice things are getting even better than they used to be. But the last week or so, usually um, preparing um, prior to a timeline jump, you may start to feel a little exhausted, you know, because your body is kind of like readjusting to the changes that are coming ahead. So you may feel a bit lightheaded, you might feel a bit tired. Um, like some of you had mentioned, you may find yourself sleeping more than usual. Or Tamara, and some of you might already start experiencing miracles and you're going to just experience more miracles. And that's a huge indicator that you're jumping to a higher timeline. And it is all extremely fascinating, you know. You can, I can go on talking about timeline jumps and, and it, it, it is so fascinating, every aspect of it. Yes, Colin, yes, so tired. Yes, a lot of y'all are feeling extremely tired. Yes, Divine Masculines also experience this timeline jump. So often who you see is actually your, your own Divine Masculine who has jumped from the previous timeline. So you are actually... You guys are actually meeting your DM in another timeline. That's about it. It's the same. It's the same you. It's just in a different circumstance. So they experience it too. But it's just that divine feminines are more aware of the timeline jumps, you know. And timeline jumps are fun. So that's why I urge you guys to take it in a very lighthearted way. You know, don't panic, don't stress. If you feel tired, just rest it out. You know, it's so important to take care of yourself. <laughs> don't worry, Megan, you will feel better. You know, everyone's going to feel better. You know, just focus on the positive aspect of this timeline jump and things will align and you will notice how everything is actually flowing in alignment often you are the one who end up sabotaging your own progress in your journey especially for some you guys are so close to union and then suddenly you go down that negative spiral and you start attracting circumstances that tend to match your negativity so that's why it's so important to watch your thoughts also remember complete surrender to god when you are completely surrendering in your journey all the time and trusting the divine in the process you know you're fine you know you will be all right all right i'm going to wrap up another 10 more minutes most important thing is preparing for this timeline shift get heaps of rest you know if you're experiencing wonderful things keep attracting more wonderful things coming ahead if you feel like you're going to jump backwards don't worry you still have time to repair and uh, jump into a better timeline 
And also, if you do jump into a timeline, if you jump backwards, don't panic. There's always a way. You can always contact me for guidance. You know, I'm always here to help. And also, most important thing is don't freak out. Because when you freak out, you're actually dropping down lower as far as the timelines are concerned. Another thing is, this is a natural part of the journey so you don't have to be so fearful of it either and just think of it this way we do come from the higher universe we do come from miracles itself from the place that we come from you know most of us are star seeds all this were like part of of being who you are you know timeline jumps leaping back and forth teleportation all of this was like so natural but of course on earth you are living within a simulation so that's why it feels like odd and different but once you start recognizing who you are on a soul level everything transforms and that's why you know if you guys haven't gotten a soul report you can always you know direct message me for one a huge part of timeline jumping is that it builds you up you are transcending and remember it's part of the evolutionary process you know you are becoming a better version of yourself and every time you jump you're actually becoming better and better and more resilient more thorough more stronger so do not fret everything is going to be fine so sometimes you may also feel like hey, I'm like suddenly changing jobs or I'm like moving around or I'm like suddenly finding myself in places where I don't find myself. Oh, Debbie, just be positive. Everything will be fine. <laughs> just keep surrendering to the divine, keep connecting to the universe and you will attract the right kind of you will attract the right timeline. <laughs> yes, exactly. Don't freak out and everything will be okay. You know, just, just treat it like you're traveling from destination A to B. You know, sometimes when you find yourself in a new country, you might panic and you may feel like, oh, um, my environment is not familiar to me. But then within weeks, you adjust and then you become like so comfortable in your circumstances that you are actually acing it. So same thing with the timeline jump. Once you recognize it, once you go with the flow, once you trust the divine, everything will fall in place. And before I end... The, the most important thing is once you accept these things and you don't resist and allow them to go with the flow, you will realize that your journey becomes less and less difficult and it will actually open up and ease you up in so many ways. And finally, you will realize how important these timeline jumps are for union. Because every time you're jumping, you're jumping into a better timeline. And then from that timeline, you're jumping in. So it's kind of like a shortcut to union with your twin, rather than being stuck in one timeline and feeling that everything is slow. So in a way, it's like the TV show OA. How you notice Brit, the protagonist in the movie, she actually jumps timeline. And every timeline she jumps, it just gets better, actually, you know. Her circumstances have changed. She has more power in her life and she has more power and control in her life. And things, and, a, and awareness expands as well. So same thing is what's happening. The more you jump, the more you'll realize that you're expanding, you're more self-aware, and you're more able to handle challenges as well. So, all right, guys, do you have any more questions before I wrap up for today? And um, next week, I'll come again with a more enlivening topic. And I'm sure you guys will be excited. And so I'll just summarize what I've been talking the last um, 35 minutes. Timeline jumps, they can be random. 
sometimes, if you know, if you are sensitive to energies, you will be able to feel a timeline jump, a portal opening up. Another thing is that timeline jumps are not necessarily bad. Most of the time, they're actually good. They actually help you in your twin flame journey. So if you're in alignment, you're always jumping into a better timeline and it only gets better and better and better. Sometimes you may feel like you are going back, but no, you're actually releasing things that no longer serve you. And that's why you may feel tired, lethargic. Sometimes if you have to rest it out, rest it out, because it's also part of the journey to get the rest that you need to get. And timeline jumps, if you start accepting it and being more self-aware, it can actually be fun because you could start experiencing the magnificence of the entire universe and how beautiful it is. Mindy, that's why don't freak out. Oh, Karen, yeah, don't, guys, just go with the flow, like I said. <laughs> and it is part of your union with your twin flame as well, so go with the flow. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing November because I'm going to probably see you all next week and it'll be November by then. And uh, November energies, I'm going to talk a bit about November energies. November energies, especially with the timeline jump and all that, is going to be extremely um, fascinating. You're going to experience a lot of changes. November is going to be a lucky month and you are going to actually see yourself in many favorable situations as far as your life is concerned you will suddenly feel like things are actually changing and things are becoming better for a lot of you all who may have been feeling a bit tired of or feel like you've taken a step back in your life you may feel like november actually nurtures you so see the thing about november it's, it's a very special month because it's a month before christmas and often you know there's a lot of excitement prepping up and it's also you know holiday time like travel time that's the period that you're going to like see your family so there's a lot of excitement in the air oh thank you pam pam says always learn so much going with the flow love and blessings to you all marsha i don't know if it was a timeline jump or another dimension or another multiverse or what it was but i feel there was a time where i made a different decision and i was actually living with my dm and we lived in the house he lived in and we had and we had united on that time it was so real and for days i was confused when it didn't happen so guys this is how timeline jumps feel like so don't worry marsha you'll probably jump back right into that timeline so don't worry at all can you feel if it was a jump or what it was all right so sometimes you know, you would actually see a vision of your future. Sometimes what happens is you actually jump into a better timeline and then energetically there's some work for you to do. So you tend to like back lag and you jump back a few timelines and then you go back to the timeline. So I feel like it was a timeline that you were living and for some reason that you jumped back and I feel like you're going to jump back into this timeline. And it's also the reason why it actually come into your purview, your vision was because it's like showing you a glimpse of your future. Because for the universe itself, time is not linear. You know? Everything is happening at the same time. Oh, you're so welcome, <laughs> Marsha. Yeah, happy times are coming ahead, guys. Stay positive. And if you guys need a reading or a healing, please feel free to DM me. You can always book one of those live psychic sessions with me and then you know you could ask me any questions as well you know it's halloween i'll try to do a promotion probably today or you know, in time to come you can always check out my page um, maybe i'll add a promotion here let's see and yes it is such an amazing feeling when you see yourself becoming the best version of yourself. And that's why this twin flame journey in itself, it's so amazing. And often you may feel that it's hard, but you'll be rewarded for all your efforts. That's why stay true to yourself, stay true to your journey. If you need any help, you can always contact me. But most important thing is 
always look within, always trust the divine, always trust the journey, and also trust your divine masculine. Often, you guys tend to just jump to conclusions. You know, it's always a make or break situation. Marsha, those, those are wonderful, highly suggest the live readings, one-on-one -on -one amazing Marianne oh thanks Marsha I love doing those live reading sessions because it's open you can ask me anything you want and I channel right on the spot Megan uh, something I was thinking about randomly is it possible to be both monadic and split soul in the same timeline or incarnation um actually not oh, and it, it doesn't happen that way but again the universe is amazing so you know maybe but um Often either your monadic or split soul. Now, it is a good question. I'm glad you addressed it. And I will do more lives on that as well, like split soul twin flames and monadic twin flames. Because again, the split occurs in different levels, you know. So that's what um, makes the difference. All right, guys, happy timeline jumping. <laughs> I know it makes it sound like some sci-fi movie. Oh, thanks, Marsha. I'm still. I'm so happy that I did the healing for you a months back, and I'm so glad you're feeling it, guys. That's the beautiful thing about healing. For some, it lasts for months. It all depends on your energies, and I always tell my clients when I after a healing session, it's in your hands to maintain it as long as you want. And so, for some, you know, you may get more frequent healings. For some, one healing, and and you're pretty good for like months, for years even for some. That's why always trust your inner radar, guys, because your inner radar is going to like guide you uh, towards what you need. And yes, you know, I'm again like, you know, back in Singapore and I'm happy and I'm, I'm catching up on older readings as well. So you guys will be receiving your reading soon. Thanks for your patience. And I'm also like taking up new readings if you guys are keen. And you guys have a great weekend. It's Saturday night and I know you're all excited. A lot of you, please do rest. It's so important before a timeline jump to rest. Also to rest after a timeline jump. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Oh, thank you, Colleen. You are the best too. And you guys are wonderful. Love seeing you all. And I'll see you all next week. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.